Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today with Stamping with Loretta. I'm excited to share with you today's project. This is going to be the very first page of my new art journal. Here you see me applying a stencil. The stencil is from Stencil Girls and um, I will leave a link down below to that. Um, I actually recorded a little bit of a preview with my voice. Um, that's what you see me actually doing is finishing the journal because for a few minutes there I have forgotten I knew how to do voiceover. So I hope you get a little laugh out of that one. Here I've used some wax paper to protect the inside of the book as well as um, another cover. You don't really see the second piece of wax paper but it is there. I added two layers of gesso. The gesso I used is from Liquitex and um, you can buy it from your local craft store. It's easy to find. I tried to edit out as much of the heat drying as I could, or heat setting, um, just to save some time with this video. To the left of your screen, I'm taking some Liquitex modeling paste. Um, this is a gel medium. It is fairly on the thick side. Mine got really goopy on me, and I ended up just taking it to the sink. I think I shared that with you once before. I added a little water, let it sit, and then I stirred it back up and it was perfectly fine. I actually had to do that a couple times to get it to the consistency that I wanted. Here you saw me adding some black paint. It's just some basic Liquitex black paint and I'm applying that uh, very liberally over the stencil. Note to self, you don't need that much. Um, it did get very thick on me and uh, part of it did not pull away as nicely as the rest of it because it was too thick. But since I'm fairly new at using stencils and stencil paste, it really didn't bother me because I still like the overall effect that this has. As you can see, it's a really cool pattern. Originally, I thought about doing this only in black and white, just for the contrast, and I decided that I couldn't do that. I couldn't just leave it black and white and maybe journal around it. So I grabbed some sprays and some other things from my supplies, and I'm using a little bit of painter's tape here to mask off the corners where the stencil was. Um, you didn't see me heat dry that step. Like I said before, I tried to edit a lot of that out. Um, painter's tape is a great source for doing this kind of thing and it works. I'm adding some random drops of ink after I had sprayed it with the Delusions green paint or green spray and I also added some um, clear pearlescent um, homemade glimmer type mist and um, after that all ran down I heat set that as well um, just to give it that kind of a rainbow effect and I do like the way that those splatters came down and um, really just kind of, if you will, just uh, sprinkled on the page some really fun color because there definitely is a lot of texture to this piece. Here I'm using uh, some of my um, punchinella to add some more texture in the four corners. Um, I also should have used much less modeling paste for this effect. Um, some of the color from that green spray did come back through. Um, some of it was on my palette knife anyway and I really do like the thickness of it and the texture um, was really fantastic. This is kind of um an ochre color yellow that I'm applying to the actual outside of the page and I heat set that. Now you see me um, getting some letters ready for the actual title which says so let the art journal begin. Um, I printed those off from my printer and I'm going to be applying those using just regular glue. Um, I am using my Tombow Mono Multi Glue I'm almost out of this. I need to order some more. There are several places online that you can order it and um, it's not really expensive. Um, you can get it for two to four dollars a bottle compared to you six to seven dollars or more at your craft store. So it is worth um, checking that out because a lot of times if you go over a certain amount, which I normally usually do, um, shipping is free and that shipping cost when you factor it into what you spend um, you can really save yourself some money. I tried to go back over the letters with my scarlet lime pen. Um, it was still too wet really to do that so I abandoned that idea and I um, 
went ahead and I heat set it one more time. After I heat set it, as you can see here in frame, I am using just a regular Bic Market pen. Um, even though it looks um, a little bit red on the screen, it's actually more of a pink magenta kind of color, a hot pink. And I outline my saying with this marker just so that the um, words themselves pop just a little bit more. And um, it also really, I like the way it came out. I'm going to continue outlining and now I'm going to show you the still pictures. This is the finished project or the finished front page of this journal. I hope that you've enjoyed this process video. Um, I certainly had a good time making it. Have a great day everyone. Stamp happy and be a blessing. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Also please visit my blog. There's going to be some changes to my blog very soon so you want to stay tuned for those. Take care. I'll talk to everybody soon. Bye now.